other side You're calling me up at the same time I'm in the daylight You're calling to say hi But your words, they cry If there's something that you need to say I know it ain't easy living inside your brain For sure You keep telling me that it's all okay But I know, yeah Your silence speaks so loud Hey guys, we've just reached the Castle Mountain Junction and we just parked here. So we're gonna be heading up to Rockbound Lake today. I'm so excited to do this hike. This was on one of the like posts with the most beautiful larches in the area. So we decided to do this one today. It's about 18K. If you wanna keep going, it takes you to Castle Mountain, but I think that's about 30K. So we're gonna stick with the 18K and we're gonna head to Rockbound Lake. I'm so excited to see the larches up there. And yeah, I will see you guys soon in the next clip. into the hike I just climbed a big hill that's why I'm out of breath but we're almost at Rockbound Lake we just passed the first lake I didn't vlog there because I I totally forgot but we're just heading up this hill and we'll be at Rockbound Lake so I'll see you guys then
Rockbound Lake. We're just headed up to the viewpoint now. This is really steep. Lights out, lying in your arms, and these feelings start to change. One look into your eyes, and I'm floating. Hey guys, so this is Rockbound Lake right behind me. We hiked up uh, almost to Helena Peak. Actually, Helena Peak is behind me up there, but there's a bunch of viewpoints if you don't stop at Rockbound Lake, if you don't stop at the shoreline and you keep going up, there's options to keep going to Castle Mountain, to Helena Peak, to Eisenhower, so you can just keep going as much as you want to. And then there's these little lookouts up here that you can just stop at and that's what we did we just stopped to eat and we're about to just take some photos and then head back down so i'll see you guys in the next clip they said, don't fall don't forget all the things you've been taught you've been told don't blink don't run don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside to stay quiet Go to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dawn breaks No, till it's all said and done You won't know what it takes
cautiously keep up our shots We surely get burned if you reach out and touch My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it Hitting these voices inside to stay quiet Under the place where all this began Welcome to my after hike summary for Rockbound Lake. So we did this hike a couple weeks ago and we did this during peak large season. So that is when everyone goes crazy, goes to the mountains just to check out large trees that you know change color for fall. So this was one of the hikes that was on a post that I saw on one of the hiking groups just as like one of the best places to view larches in the fall. And I definitely have to agree with that. This was one of my favorite hikes actually that I've ever done during large season. It was really really beautiful i do really like larch valley too but comparing when i first did it probably like three years ago now to now there is just so many crowds of people it's just a super super busy trail and there's other ones out there like rockbound lake that are not as crazy busy although we did go on a saturday and it was busier than i thought it would be so this is I don't know, like a 15 to 20K hike, depending on where you stop. So there is a couple lakes to go to. There's also Silverton Falls. So we did go up to the second viewpoint. So I think our total for the day was about 21K. So we did go to Silverton Falls. We also went to Rockbound Lake as well as we went to the viewpoint, the second viewpoint. So I really actually want to do this one again. There's so many hikes in that area, including Helena Peak and Castle Mountain. So those ones I would totally do for next summer because they are a bit longer. Helena Peak was really, really close to the second viewpoint. I think we were maybe two-ish kilometers away from it, but it was already a long day. So the trail to Rockbound Lake actually starts off of the highway 1a so if you're going to johnson canyon just around that area that's where rockbound lake starts uh just after the castle junction so the beginning of the trail is pretty flat and it goes for quite a ways until you get to the first lake and that lake is super beautiful i'm totally blanking on the name of it right now but it is really beautiful it had uh, brown trout in it which was really cool and you could actually see them swimming around that's how clear the water was so after this first lake this is where all the elevation actually not all of the elevation gain but this is where the elevation gain starts so you go up probably about another 800 meters and then you hit rockbound lake so rockbound lake itself like when you're seeing it right up close is not as it's not as pretty as when you keep going up. So I'll get to that in a second. So right before you hit Rockbound Lake, you hit this beautiful large forest and it's an awesome place to take photos. It's an awesome place to take those large videos that people keep taking on TikTok and Instagram where, you know, you're actually by yourself surrounded by large trees versus, you know, large valley where there's groups and groups of people. This large forest is pretty big and you can go up there take pictures up close with the larches it's awesome so after this point you hit rockbound lake and then you can keep going up if you choose to which i highly recommend that you do this part gets a little bit steep if you guys have ever done surreal ridge it's very very similar to that so it just goes straight up the side of a mountain once it plateaus at the top 
that's the first viewpoint and then you can keep going so after this there's like a tiny little bit of a scramble section you're kind of passing through a rock gully and then you go up a little bit more and that's your second viewpoint and if you keep going from this point you can go up to the third viewpoint and then to Helena Peak yeah you can keep going if you want to make it longer if you want to make it harder for you <laughs> you could keep going but uh, we stopped at the second viewpoint it was so beautiful for the lake from the top is just completely different the color changes to this beautiful beautiful turquoise color i loved how the pictures turned out because the turquoise water mixed with the yellow larch trees it was beautiful and then you could also see castle mountain on the other side of the lake so yeah all in all this was an awesome hike i really loved it i highly recommend it to you guys and if you are considering doing this during large season unfortunately large season is over and it's like winter in the mountains right now i went hiking yesterday and there was so much snow so it's already definitely starting to get into winter conditions in the mountains right now but if you do want to do this during peak large season i highly recommend like mid to like the third week of september would be ideal so save this one on your list for next year it's a really good one so that is pretty much my after hike review for rockbound lake if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead click the subscribe button below i upload three times a week sunday wednesday and friday and i will see you guys soon for my next video bye